Right, we're here with describing patterns and missing values with Mr. Burns and we're just going to be doing some together and you're going to try some by yourself because you should have already seen the teaching component. Right, so let's get going. Okay, here for question A, uh, we're doing this together. 46, 40, 34. Is it going down or is it going up? Okay, I hope you can work out that it's going down. How many is it going down by? Okay, see if you can work out how many it's going down by. You might want to pause me and work that out. Okay, I hope you work out it's going down by sixes. So what's this one here going to be? It's going to be 28. And what's this next one going to be? It's going to be 22. Okay, I hope you got that. Let's have a go at another one together. Okay, here's another one. 205, 225, 245. Is it going up or down? It's going up, isn't it? Okay, uh, what's it going up by? Well, I hope you can work out the difference. Why don't you why don't you see if you can find the difference between 205 and 225 and the difference between 225 and 245. What's the difference? What's the space? I hope you work out it's 20. So it's going up by 20. So what are these two numbers here going to be? Have a go. Put them in. It's going up by 20s. Pause me. Okay, I hope you got it. It's 265, 265, and 285. Let's have one more go together. I'm going to do a trickier one, and then we're going to, I'm going to let you do it all by yourself. What about this pattern? 6, 12, 24. It's going up, but it's not just going up by addition, is it? It's not just going up by sixes because you know, six plus six equals twelve, but twelve plus six doesn't equal twenty-four. It's not going up by addition. That's the hint. Can you work it out? It's going up by times. Each number has been times by what? Can you work it out? It's been times by two. So knowing that, six times two is twelve. Twelve times two is twenty-four. What's twenty-four times two? Can you work it out, please? Have a go. That's 48. What's 48 times 2? See if you can work it out. That's 96. What's 96 times 2? You might have to do a sum or do 2 times 100 and minus 8. Whatever works for you. That's what works for me. 96 times 2 is, see if you can work it out, pause me. 96 times 2 is... 192 I think okay now you have a go all by yourself let's see if you can work out this one D have a go at D all by yourself please pause me see if you can find the next two numbers in the sequence in the pattern Okay, I hope you paused me and I hope you worked out that it was going down by minus 5 each time. So this would be 304 and then that would be, well, minus 5 again. Sorry, minus 5 there. That would be 299. Okay. Let's have a go at uh, E. You can have a go at E all by yourself. Here is E. Have a go at E, all by yourself, thank you. 98, 112, 126, pause me. Okay, I hope you pause me. E is going up by 14, plus 14 every time. Plus 14, so 126 plus 14 is 140. 140 plus 14 is 154. Four. Have a go at F for me. This will be a nice tricky one for you to end on. Have a go at F. 